Crack Golfers, my 2023 golf bag is ready. It's there, I've compiled it. It's, well, it's almost finished. Let me show you what's in my bag for 2023. See what you can learn from some of the crazy clubs. Yep, I like to play. So my irons, Strixon ZX4 Mark II. I had the Mark I before these. It's the combination on these of looks as well as feel and as well as help that I'm really enjoying. And I didn't think I would stick for them for two seasons, but I'm gonna. I'm not finding that I get like crazy long bombers. I'm not getting flyers and things like that, which is something that I can get a little bit worried about when I'm using game improvement iron. You get quite a decent look on them bearing in mind how much help you got on them. You've also got the V-Sole, which I like. And with the forged face, it's possibly the best feeling out of the two ZX forges that I've used. So I'm really enjoying those. Now I have a pitching wedge. So I do have a pitching wedge in this set. And we'll come to my other pitching wedges in a second, because I do have actually two pitching wedges. And then I finish at a six iron. So my uh, highest iron or lowest iron, if you like, is a six iron. So my longest iron is a six iron. Loft wise, this is much closer a five iron. So for traditional values, five iron to almost four, but it's actually a six iron I stop at before we start getting into the fairways. I've got KBS tall light shafts in these, just uh, tall light KBS. I do like light shafts in my all my clubs. And at the moment I've got standard grips, but these will change to plus four mid-size golf pride grips that you've seen maybe from other videos. I do like the less tapering and mid-size, so I haven't installed them on these clubs yet because I was in such a rush to get these when they came out. I couldn't be bothered to wait for the grips. I've got the grip sense uh, separately and I haven't re-gripped them yet. So wedges and short clubs, sit. So this part of my bag gets really creative. So the bunker shot there, not very well played, was with my RTX Zipcore uh, 6. This is a 58 degree 10 bounce. So it's got quite a good amount of bounce, but it does have relief in the heel and the toe, again, it will be gripped up. I do love a player's wedge. I will mix between this and a less version of a player's wedge because in my 50 degree, I've got the CBX full face. So this is much more of a cavity full face. So it's got the grooves all the way up the face, which I do like. And I do play with that in my lofted wedge, but I am still quite enjoying the bladed lofted wedge. This one, 50 degree, it's 12 degree of bounce and I have less relief on this one. It's the full face that I'm buying into the shape and I like the way, obviously, I've got cavity and game improvement iron, so this blends a bit more with them. I then also have a ZX7 pitching wedge, which you could see this is kind of a gap wedge on top of my gap wedge. Because the irons are strong in loft, if I have a pitching wedge in that set and stop and go to these wedges, well, there's a huge gap. So I put a regular, more standard lofted pitching wedge in there to blend with my slightly more gaming lob wedge and wedge, I guess we'll call it. So my wedges are quite creative. And yes, I also still have the chipper. This club I love, I still enjoy this. I'm not using it as much because my chipping is better, but there are certain situations where this just feels like the perfect club. I still use it to chip out of problems. I still use it if I'm a bit edgy on a lie around the greens and run it in, those kind of ideas. So the chipper is very much still in there. And yes, I still love it. Stay up, stay up. Oh, so putter, I've gone thicker grip in the HB Soft. So this is the milled HB Soft. It's got the milled face. I've gone for this nice, thicker grip, which I'm into again. I flick between thicker and fitting grip and liking and loving and hating. 34 inch length. And it's the classic answer shape that I've used all my life and love. So when it comes to the fairway woods, I'm Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo. I haven't changed this club for a while now and there has been newer ones of this and there's the new Strixon wood, which I will test a bit more, but I just can't get this out of my bag. I love the shape of it. I love the sound it makes. I love the flight I get with it. I can get this real kind of high launching flat flight with it, even from the ground, which I really enjoy. And I just love the way it sits. So that is struggling. It's a 50 degree. I'm struggling to get that out of my bag. It's just the standard stiff flex. Again, I need to re-grip it. Haven't done that yet. And then my power hybrid. So my stronger lofted hybrid, this is an 18 degrees. It's a launcher XL Halo. It's a free plus wood. So it's a high wood, they call it. So it's 
very big in its profile, much bigger, say, than my other hybrid. You can see it's more stretched back. So it's a real good blender, again, between my fairway wood going down to my other hybrid, which we'll show you in a second. I love the bigger head on this. I like, again, the flight I get with it. I, I do think this is a club a lot more people could game as a fairway wood. So that hybrid fairway wood's a real good blend. Again, this is just a 6.0 stiff out of the kind of wrapper shaft in this. Nothing's really changing with this club. And even this club surprised me. My 22 degree hybrid is one of my favorite clubs and I've changed it to the new ZX Mark II. I had the old one. And what I'm loving about the new one, which is why I've changed it, it's purely the looks. I love the more stealthiness of the top lines and the face. I love matte black, silver to black face, dark everything. I love how it sits behind the ball. The flight performance, no different, I would say, to my other 22, which is exactly what I want in my bag. I love it, it's my one of my favorite clubs in the 22 degree i'm just liking the look of that more if the performance stays the same which it is at the moment i've just got a club i want to pull more because it even looks even better purely cosmetic with that again this is just the smoke eight gram 6.0 hybrid hazardous smoke off out the wrapper shaft no fussing around just hit greens with it and get on with life golf ball i'm using the z star so the Srixen Z Star, to be fair, I have been playing a bit with the Diamond, which I'm still in testing with, but for the moment, I'm gonna stick with Z Star because I've just played it and I like it. I think if it's not, you know, broken, why change it? And then finally, the driver. This one really is exciting me. And I'm having some crazy good results with this club. So the Strixon ZX5 Mark II and in the low spin, the LS model. Testing is not finished, but at the moment I am absolutely adoring this driver and I'm loving what I've done with this grip, which is probably going to reason, another reason why I'm waiting to regrip the others is just finish testing on what I've done with this grip. And if you want to see what I've done with this grip and my feelings are with it, maybe let me know in the comments and we'll do a full video on it because it's a little bit curveball. And low spin drivers are interesting. I've often gone into them and then come out of them. I definitely get my better numbers with low spin, but you get the drop offs as well. So it'll be interesting if I stay with it. When it comes to constructing your bag, it's always hard to know exactly what should go in there. And I'm lucky enough have to test but if you want to find out what the best driver is of 2023 i've got a video here that might just help you understand which one might suit your golf game